According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, ischemic heart disease is the second most prevalent cause of death, accounting for 13.7% as of 2022. The situation is all the more alarming as there's a rising number of heart disease cases among younger Malaysians. We are joined by cardiologist Dr. Mohamed Al Baklish Mohamed Firdaus from Pantai Hospital Ayakuro, who will be talking about heart health and the various ways younger Malaysians can reduce their risk of developing heart disease. Doctor, thank you for your time today. Now let's begin by finding out what are some of the prevalent heart diseases that are common in Malaysia today. Generally, most common heart problem in Malaysia is the ischemic heart disease or the coronary artery disease. The other common heart problem in Malaysia uh, or other uh, in, uh, even in other country also are uh, the cardiomyopathy mm -hmm. or the pro disease of the heart muscle mm -hmm. the valvular heart disease or the problem with your uh, heart valve or the uh, cardiac arrhythmias or the problem with the ele electricity of the heart and we've seen a shift um, annual an annual shift nowadays in Malaysia uh, the, these diseases are more common in the younger generation. Why do you think this is? Okay, the, generally, the risk factor to develop heart problem, uh, the traditional uh, risk factor to develop heart problem are the uh, smoking, mm -hmm. diabetes mellitus, hypertension, uh, and dyslipidemia, or you have a family history of heart problem or stroke in the past. Uh, but nowadays, why there are more and more young people develop ischemic heart disease is because they take up smoking at earlier age or they have childhood obesity. I see. And does it affect the younger generation differently than how these diseases would affect the older generation? Okay. Ischemic heart disease manifestation is usually patient with presented with chest pain especially at rest or chest pain when they do strength, any strenuous activity like walking, climb up stairs or lifting heavy uh, stuff. Uh, sometimes patients will have shortness of breath when they do their, their daily activities and sometimes they have uh, racing heartbeat or palpitation. Uh, these are not different with the younger generation. They also will have similar symptoms mm -hmm. but problem with the younger generation they usually don't take their symptoms seriously so they usually presented late or they don't even present it at all to, uh, to seek medical attention. Dr. Al Baklish stresses that it's high time younger Malaysians adopted a healthier lifestyle. This includes eating nutritious food, refraining from smoking and exercising more. He explains that every little change counts. Losing just a single kilogram of body fat can greatly reduce your risk of developing heart disease. Daryl B, FMT Lifestyle.